What's good, Gray Gang? It's that time of the year again. I got the trapping shack on wheels out. I got my knockoff Carhartt jacket on. It's trapping time. Now, I will say one thing, Gray Gang. Okay, so like trapping season, trapping season, it's been in for probably a good month right now. But well, I, I wanted to kill a deer, at least a doe, before I started trapping. That way I could trap where my corn pile is. Unfortunately, it has proven to be harder to kill a deer than I thought. And I mean, I don't know. I don't know why I haven't killed a deer yet. I just haven't. But I said, no more waiting. We're going out trapping. We'll still deer hunt while we're trapping, but you know, we're still going to trap, okay? Trapping videos have been pushed back long enough, but today we're going trapping, and right now, let's go get the traps. These here are today's trap of choice. Now what these are, these are called dog proof, and these are basically only coon and possum traps, like coyotes, bobcats, foxes, stuff like that. They can't get caught in these. So these traps here are only for coon and possum. Now what they are is, you know, well actually let's go out in the field and I'll just show you how to set them and everything. Okay guys, so the first place we're gonna hit up is this tree right here. We're gonna set a dog proof on it. The reason I picked this tree is because there's actually a really good uh, game trail that comes right there here. Now yeah, it is used by coyotes and deer and stuff like that, but it's also used by coons. I know this because, well one, we are in the trees right here and coons live in trees. And two, if you actually look closely on this tree, you can see a lot of scarring on it. That's from a coon like two years ago. So I know there's coons using this trail. And on up the trail a little bit where it gets steep, you can see where, you know, it's coon tracks been clawing in the mud trying to climb. But anyways, I'm gonna set y'all up on the tripod right now, and we're gonna set us a dog proof right here. Okay, so this right here, this is the weapon of choice. This is what you call a dog proof coon trap. I've done said this earlier, but it's mainly only for coon and possum. Here's how it works, okay? You got your main tube right here. This is where you put your bait in and where, you know, the animal's foot gets caught. What he does is he actually sticks his hand down in here, and it's like a cup. So he's gonna reach in, get some food out, eat it. That's good for him. He's gonna reach down again, get some food, and he's gonna eat it. That's good again. Then once he gets so far down, which is down here, he's actually gonna be thinking he's grabbing food and it's actually a trigger. Once he grabs that trigger and pulls up, it actually lets the spring go and it just clamps down on his wrist. Now it doesn't cut his wrist off. And y'all gotta keep that in mind. If a trap like this cut legs off and broke bones, it wouldn't be useful because they just get away every time. It just holds them there until I can get back to them to, you know, dispatch them. Or let them go if it's like a non-target catch. But anyways, it is set right now. I actually want to do a few things first, like bait it up, so... Okay, if you're new to trapping and you do got some dog proofs, one thing I will say is be sure to put a little bit of food under the trigger. That way, you know, they're not going to eat all the food before they get to the trigger. So just like that, I put some dog food, put it up under the trigger, now I'm going to set it to where it's ready to go. And now, just like that, it's ready to go, it's set and everything, we're going to pour it up. I'm going to put dog food all the way up to the top, and then I'm going to come right over here. Stick it in the ground. Well, actually, first I gotta anchor it down into this tree. Now, my anchoring system is a different than a lot of people's. Me, personally, I just strap it to this tree using 332 seconds cable, and you know, I've never had a coon or anything break it. So then I'm gonna strap it in there, then I'm just gonna spike it down right in the middle of the trail. That way they have to walk through it to go to the other side of the trail. Now that I've got it this far with dog food and everything, now I'm actually gonna go a little bit, well, first I'm gonna sprinkle a little bit of dog food right here, you know, just to make him know that Whatever's in that thing is safe and not gonna hurt him. Well, that's what he thinks. But anyways, that's good for that. Just sprinkle some around. Now, it's time for the smelly stuff. Now, because I'm basically unprepared, I don't have any special coon bait made up like I'd like to, but you know, today, we're gonna use a little bit of tuna. Now, this is tuna right here. Honestly, I'd rather be using sardines, but I didn't have any, so I'm just gonna use this tuna. Any kind of meat or fish or something like that that just smells really weird and meaty and stuff, that'll be perfect. Coons love smelly stuff. And so with this can of tuna right here, I've actually got a manually open it with a can and here's the thing there's gonna be juices in here that is actually a good thing like don't worry about getting the juice everywhere getting the juice everywhere that's actually a good thing so like the more juice you can get out in this area that's the more scent it's gonna give off the more scent the more smell the more smell the more chances you have of the coon smelling and coming in and so here we go just gonna get all that juice out there now here's the smelly part this is the part i was talking about with the smelly stuff with the dog food alone it really doesn't give it that smell that draws them in from a long way so what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna just gonna get a little bit of the tuna and just set it right here on top just like that right there just enough to give off scent but not too much to where I'm not wasting money on it. And just like this, this right here is perfect. I've got a full thing of dog food, dog food all around, juice all around, and just a little bit of sardines, or, you know, in this case, tuna right there on top. And this set right here, in my opinion, like, 
that's an that's an A plus set. I mean, we got a good location. We got good execution. I set it right and got a good anchor. And then three with bait and you know smell and scent. Hey, we're good with that too. That tuna, I can smell it from here. Which I mean, I am only a foot away, but still. But yeah, that right there, that's a good set. And I honestly won't be surprised if we come back next video and catch a coon here. Like I'm dead serious. But we do have three other sets we have to make. So let's get started. Now, as for this one right here, you know, there's a pretty good trail coming right through here. And then what y'all can't see is. That right behind you there's actually a really good den tree like high quality with a cube and i've actually seen coons here in the daytime so hey this is a pretty good spot i'm gonna wrap it around that little tree right there i've seen coons break trees but i don't think they'll break that tree and if they do i mean hey that'll be a good experience won't it? i'm just gonna come right here wrap it around this tree take it down like that and boom i'm gonna go over here get the tuna come back put a little bit on top and boom it's that simple once you get good at setting dog proof this is the cool part you can honestly set a dog proof in 30 seconds no problem and that that's actually a pretty good set too that's what makes dog proof so important to like fur trappers who do it for like a living and do it for actual money is that instead of sitting there and burying one in the ground and taking like at least 10 minutes to set it they can come out here do this in 20 seconds be off down the road setting another trap to make more money just like that and dog proofs are also good for beginners because you don't have to be a rocket scientist to set them you just do what i showed you and boom you have a possibility to catch a coon and so now i've moved over to this bar here as you can see that is a gigantic hollow tree and stuff's been wearing it out there at the bottom now am i 100 certain that that's a coon no, I'm not certain that's a coon, but it definitely looks like something, and cl coons climb trees, so that's a good enough suspect for me. Hey, it may not be a coon, but if it is a coon, I'm about to catch it. And I mean, hey, we're just going to jab her in right there. That's close enough, ain't it? Whatever's coming in there and living in there, I'm about positive they will one way or another see this, whether it's a coon, possum, snake, bobcat, tiger shark, whatever it is. One way or another, it'll see this, whether it'll eat it. I'm not sure about that. But if this is a coon or possum, mark my words, guys, we will catch it. No doubt in my mind. If this is a coon or possum that lives in this tree, I'm about positive we can catch him. So, you know, huh. stay tuned for next video because this should be a good one, okay? So right now, I'm actually going to open up this one piece of mail. Now, I've actually had this for a little while, but I've been saving it to a trapping video to open it because this in here, it's actually trapping related. Now, it is from one of you guys, the fans. It's not a company or anything, but like, well, you'll just have to see it. It's really cool, but like, I don't know how to say it. You're just going to just finish the video and you'll see what it is, you know? But it is very trapping related, so I saved it for this kind of video. Here we go. Okay. <laughs> Pack is good, I will say that. Okay, good. We're finally into it a little bit. It's a catch bowl, but the cool thing is one of you guys made it. A fellow Greg Gangster himself. And it's like really cool because now he's like selling these big time. And this is not no sponsored video or anything, but if you'd like one, I did put his link down in the description. But last year, my biggest video I've ever created, it had it has over a million views. But it, the reason is because it was actually because of a failure with a catch pole. So, you know, I had a fox down there. I was wrestling him around a little bit. And, you know, uh, my, well, my, my catch pole failed on me and he got away so this catch paw is hopefully a whole lot different it's got a really good locking mechanism right here so uh yeah whenever we get us a non-target animal or we want to keep one live that'll be good because now we finally got something to do so and about the mail guys i went to the post office today and they were like uh you got like a lot of mail today and i went and checked and i'm telling you we have so much mail that we may have to make like um uh what do you call it a non-scheduled mail time okay guys we may have to bring back a mail time because i've got a lot of christmas presents from you people so yeah here in the next week or two be looking forward to that because we will have a mail time coming very soon my people and what kind of traffic season would i be if i did not set a snare in this path right here now i have caught an animal in this in this little fence crossing every single year i have trapped and the cool thing is i even caught an animal in this spot before i started trapping that doesn't even make sense but trust me it happened but anyways basically what's up is yeah i did i just set me a little snare right here now i'm just working on you know the finishing touches just funnel them into the snare and not the side so i got some stuff over here got some right here now i need something right here to stop him from going right there so I'm gonna come right here, break off this branch right here, uh, put it down in the ground pretty good ways like that, and boom, 
I think we're good. Let me bring y'all in and show you what I'm talking about. Now, if you was an animal and you wanted to cross this fence, where would you go under? As of right now, you would go right there because, you know, there's nothing in the way. Well, that's how I made it because my snare is right here. So what I done was I raised all this grass right here. I put those sticks right there, that big stick right there. Basically just to let the animal know that he doesn't want to go over there. That he, if he wants to go under this fence, he needs to come right through here. And what will happen with this animal is if he comes down through here, he'll grab it and boom, it'll be around his neck just like that. And like I said, I've caught an animal in that hole every single year I've trapped. And honestly, like snaring is one of my favorite snare trapping tactics. And the main reason for that is just because it's so dang effective. Like I'm telling you, they're effective when other traps won't. When other traps may be frozen over and covered with snow, hey, those snares are at their prime. They'll keep on working no matter the hot or cold. Now, just in case you guys don't follow me on Instagram or you don't know who won, you know, the pop socket uh, giveaway thingy, one of them was Corbin Broadway and the other one was Reed Drenner. And those two people, well, like I said, they did win the pop socket. Now, I've got a lot of emails right here in the last few days, especially asking me, are, well, are you going to get pop sockets back in for Christmas? Because, you know, maybe I'd like to gift one to somebody or maybe, you know, you just want one for Christmas or for yourself. So the question is, will I get these back in? stock before Christmas well not before Christmas however there's going to be a massive cold snow merch drop coming January and because everybody's asking I will give you a hint pop sockets yes pop sockets there's not just one design there's actually two designs coming out in January so in the January merch drop there is definitely going to be some pop sockets coming out so I just wanted to let you know that here coming in January there will be pop sockets again so hey boy be stay tuned because whenever they come out boys boom. like I've had some pretty awesome merch drops in the past but I've got to say this one's going to be my favorite boys January's merch drop it's going to be Epic. But anyways guys, just please hit the like button. Like I've said, we're trying to get at least 3,000 per video or you know more if you'd like to. So please go hit the like button. Let's try to get 3,000 for at least three videos in a row. That's the goal. And you know guys, since this is the first trapping video of the year, go down in the comments and tell me, do you like the trapping videos or should I just scrap the trapping idea and go fishing in the middle of January? However, if you like the trapping videos, tell me in the comments and smash the like button. But anyways guys, I mean, I guess the last thing I can say is if you're not subscribed go ahead and do that but uh well i'll see you later i guess if you're not part of the gray gang go ahead and subscribe by hitting the button on the top right and feel free to watch some of my past videos on the left as always favorite squad post it up down low if you want some of this sweet merch head on over to kennelgray1.com or the link in the description but besides that i'll catch you later in tomorrow's video